This is Smarter San Diego TV. You know, millennials and baby boomers alike, they want to be in urban environments right now. Thank God for the electoral college vote. In a four hour breakfast, we raised uh, $9,000. So that's something uh, that we take pretty, pretty seriously. And you can't diet your way into being lean and fit. They go together. In New York City deciding what's best for the rest of the freaking country. This is not a market built on a stack of cards. It's a solid foundation. Zero percent. <laughs> that is a thumbs up. Everyone had a life worth telling the story about. And the more adversity that you faced, the deeper your story. Well, am I going to be okay in it? Like, am I going to be able to walk? There's just so much creativity in this town that it's uh, it's it's hard to hide it. Well, you have these beliefs, but well, what do you do with it? Our next guests are very passionate about an upcoming event that aims to bring the community together. Please welcome real estate expert and assistant pastor Gabe Mendez and his special guest, Pastor Richard Cisco. All right, welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome back, Gabe. Thank you. Thank welcome you. to the show, Pastor Cisco. Thank you. Great to have you here. You guys are doing some incredible work. I want to give you an opportunity to talk about it today. Huge event coming up. Um, who wants to tell us a little bit about the, the ministry? I'll step in okay. a little bit, and then I'll let Pastor Cisco take over afterwards. Um, the San Diego Lowrider Gospel Fest Ministries, it's not just a single person. It isn't just a family ministry. It really is a collective effort on everyone's behalf. It's just a bunch of different community leaders, pastors, churches, government agencies, the police department, people, everyone wanting to come together to see a better San Diego. You know, and hopefully to influence not just San Diego, but California. We know the rest of the United States as everyone needs it everywhere. Yeah. So it really just as a collective effort is who we are. And uh, the mission's simple to go out there and, and to, to spread the gospel and to help people. And I'll let Pastor Cisco to kind of elaborate a little more on that, but that's that's what we are and who we are. Okay. Well, how, yeah, how did we get here? I mean, you know, it's uh, what's what's the story? Well, uh, you know, the Lowrider Gospel Fest, uh, you know, I'm going to be straight up, you know, Gabe's my son, and uh, I was incarcerated, and, uh, and God got a hold of my life, and when he got a hold of my life, he told me, hey, you're going to do the Lowrider Gospel Fest. I like Lowriders. <laughs> and I said, wow, you know, how? You know, it's a big mission. And he, you know, a lot of speakers, how, God, how does God talk to you? He, he spoke to me in a, in a vision, a dream. And I, I got out, and he says, go to PD, go to the police department. That was the first thing. I said, the police department? I go, that's, that's, that's crazy. It, it don't make sense. <laughs> and uh, so I hustled a ride. I hustled a ride at the police department and told him what I want to do. I says, I want to bring the whole community together, and I need you guys involved because you got a part of the community, especially with all the chaos that's going on. Uh, uh, and, 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 and the Word of God is telling me, you know, bless, you know, bless the community. I said, well, I don't want to sell hot dogs. I don't want to sell tacos. I don't want to sell burritos. I don't want to sell nothing. I want to give. And, uh, and then God put it upon my heart that it's going to be done. PD, when I told the police department a little first, the police department, go, the first thing they told me, said, we've been waiting for something like this. And they, they said, can you come tomorrow? And, uh, and I, like, like I said, I just got out. Uh, and I says, okay, I, I'm going to need a ride. And, and they said, we'll pick you up. And that was the first time I rode in a police uh, car legally. <laughs> uh, it was, it was very, it felt very uncomfortable. I wanted to sit in the back, you know, no, sit in the front. And they picked me up and they brought the city councilman and all that. And, and, and the next thing you know, uh, they, they jumped in, opened up all the facilities and, we started hustling. We started hitting the streets. We didn't have no 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 church, no no budget, no finance, nothing. We started hustling. But I, I just magically, not magically, it's a miracle. I just saw God move, open doors to the schools. Uh, uh, different pastors started coming in, and I, I says, uh, I says, I wanna, I wanna serve, I wanna serve three thousand, four thousand, you know, free. I wanna feed them, not just tell tell them that God loves them. I want them to go home feeling happy, filled, and all that. And, and not only that, bring the hood together. Bring the community together. I want to see that. You know, there's a lot of chaos seen you know, with PD. And, uh, and, and it happened. It worked. PD opened the facilities. Gang members were coming to the meetings. The mafia were coming to the meetings. Uh, 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 the family members were coming to the meetings. Everybody were blown out of their minds. And even myself, I go, wow. The room was packed. The, the conference room was packed. I go, wow. And it took off. It took off. Lowriders, they were hesitant at first also to bring their cars into the hood. 
They said, wow, how are we going to bring these, you know, thousand, 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 you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar cars, forty thousand dollar cars that they invest in lowriders. But I wanted them so, so, so the kids can come, the gang members can come, and so, so that later on that we as ministers and pastors can work with them, work with them, share with them, and meet that need, not only verbally, but physically. You know, they're eating and show them that, hey, you know, God loves them. God loves them, and we love them, you know, and, and we can come together. And, in, and last but not least, PD was one of my main focus that God put in my heart. Bring the police department in. Bring them in. They're part of the community. And then and I says, okay. And then when they came in, to find them out that they're simple people, man. They got, they got a husband, wives, sons, and daughters. They brought them to the gospel fest. I go, wow. Gang members were there. And I looked at it. I go, wow, man, this is huge. I mean, it, it took off. Took a lot of fire. So pastors from out of town, different cities are looking at them. How did you do this? How did it go on? Well, it was one of the biggest events in San Diego. And I got, because I went to the gospel fest, I go, wow. And it grew. We all grew it. And so my goal, my, one of my main goals was to target gang members because I specialize in gangs. And uh, they, they came. I go, wow, look at them all there. Very peaceful, very good setting. That's what I wanted. Not just everybody looking around or enjoying themselves, having a good time. Like my son says, food bank came in, pallets and just pallets, tons of food to give out. Barbers came in, free haircuts, free clothing, uh, free everything. Uh, concert, you know, uh, Christian rap, Christian soul, Christian uh, Mexican music, uh, all that. Gospel, but you know, hip, you know, hip gospel. It took off. It just took off and it grew. So we all grew the facility and we had to move to, to the main place, which was... Uh, Jeremy Henwood Park. Yeah, Jeremy, Officer Jeremy Henwood Park, they called it now. That's the officer that got shot. We partook in his uh, 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 funeral. Uh, uh, we helped out in the security. Families came in from out of town. I it, was sad. it was a sad thing. So the lowriders even helped out. And I said, man, it's sad. And I just said, we need to come in as a ministry man, that we're making an impact. And show them that, hey, they're not the enemy, man. You know, it's not. It's, it's, it's what's happening out there. It's a foul spirit. It's ugly. And it's, it's not right. And, uh, and, and, and we, as me as a pastor, and God's put it upon my heart, we're going to do what we can. And, you know, on their behalf for the community. And so it grew. We took it to Jerry, uh, Officer Jerry Henry. He calls Rosa Park. And it grew bigger. And I, I just went out by faith. I put it, the Lord put it, you're going to feed 5,000 this year to 5,000 I go wow Lord 5,000 family that's a lot you're gonna have to come and then you know I needed help too and people would come on hey he did it at once already Cisco I go yeah you're right huh he did it already I said how are we gonna get the permits how are we gonna get the finances for this and that I said well he did it at once all right so yeah we went through the through the rhythm of going to the boards you know and all etc and all the that. red tape pardon me the yeah red the red tape. tape all the red tape and Raising their hands, or doing all they're in favor. They paid for it. They paid for the million dollar insurance policy and all that. I don't have a penny. I don't have a building. All right. My son bought me my car. All right. And I, you know, but God put it upon my heart. And, uh, and, 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 and it came. And next thing you know, where it was a park, uh, Jerry Mahimel Park. And it grew. And PD got heavily involved. Really. So we have, an, an, the next one's coming up, right? Yeah, next we, summer. Yeah. This summer, summer 2017. Wow, so people could get involved now because you have, I mean, obviously to do that, you're going to need a lot of assistance. Right. So a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. Yeah. Yes. A lot of money is needed. Yes. We'll put the link on the screen for anyone who wants to get involved. You can donate just by going to the link that's on the screen right now. Uh, we'll also hyperlink it if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube. This link will be below in the description. Um, so you can just sing, simply click it there. But uh, it's, you know, it, it's obviously, it's a, it's a Herculean task. Yes you know, to be able to pull all this off because all of the resources that are needed, and then of course, all the, the, the marketing that's needed to let people know about the fact that this exists. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think uh, you said it, Pastor Cisco, you said that you're a hustler. So you're yeah. gonna get out there, if people it can help with the resources, right. you'll get out there and you'll do the hard work of knocking on the doors, right. you know, getting Passing through the, the red tape. Right. Get hit, doing the footwork, doing, the footwork. doing all the footwork with the gangs, the communities, police department, we get out there and get ready to serve the community, especially after what happened with Ferguson, you know, uh, and, and all the riots and all that. And, 
and then and and then I saw it as a tool. I go, wow, we're really making an impact. Everybody's seeing it, and uh, and they're going home grateful. You're hearing it. You're hearing it from the little kids to the to the gang members to the to the families. They're going, wow. Even PD is going, wow. And and yeah, it takes finances. Yeah, it takes finances. But it's a lot of fun. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. The first one that we threw together was at Cherokee Point Elementary School. I believe I was. 22 years old, 23 years old, showed up there, tons of music, tons of cars, tons of food. It was a good time, a good spirit, seeing police officers walking around, uh, you know, in their, in their uniform, but just a humble spirit about them, seeing town council members there, you know, in their suits wa walking around and everyone just interacting. There's a peace about it. People leave happy. They leave filled. It's just fun. And we want to let everyone out there, hey, you know, it's a, there's, there's a different perspective. Come out. Join the event. If you just want to be there just to be partake in the event, partake in the event. But if there's a feeling in your heart, there's a feeling in your gut, mm -hmm. it's pulling you to do more, get involved. We need volunteers. We need the resources. You know, whatever it is, however you can assist us, whether it's food, clothes, music, a car, whatever it might be, DJ system, generators, jumpers for kids. We have all that face painting for clowns, a barber to cut hair. Contact us. Reach out. Be a part of the Gospel Fest team. It's more than just that. The police department's involved. You know, we're moving forward, and we're really just trying to take a stance and really just trying to empower and help people out and spread that message. It's a beautiful thing. And fantastic Derek, stuff. you and the whole team have to come out there. Yeah, yeah, fantastic stuff. We'll definitely be there. And if you can, if, if like Gabe said, if something's pulling you to do something more, maybe you can donate your time. Maybe you can donate some money. Maybe you can donate some resources to help this great event. Uh, if you want to do that, do it right now. Follow the link on the page or in the description below and you'll be able to find the Facebook page there you can, where you can make your donations. Guys, thank you so much for coming today. Really thank appreciate you, the great work. Appreciate it. Thank you. Fantastic thank stuff. Thank you so much. Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else. Commercial free.